Some contract staff of the now defunct Beige Bank, who have been notified by management of Consolidated Bank Ghana Limited, their services will no longer be required, are uh, demanding the payment of their July and August salaries. Reports suggest as many as 1,700 of them may be asked to go home. The affected staff, mainly field officers who went around collecting deposits from customers, say much as they have a problem with the decision to dismiss them, contesting that decision is not their priority at the moment. They have been speaking. We join you, this is Maxwell Agwagwa. They have been laid off and they are here um, today um, demanding um, the payment of their two month salary. So we're talking about salaries for July and then um, August. These um, field um, FSOs usually um, go to the ground to take um, deposits of, um, uh, of uh, mainly people in the informal sector. So they collect them and then bring it to the bank. We have worked for July and August. So all we are demanding for now is that we should be paid our July and August salaries because it is our sweat. We have worked for it because we don't understand why they will ask us to remain calm and be at post and continue to do what we do best. But yet still, others have been paid and we are still not being paid our July and August salaries. Mm. And as at now, we are stranded. We have no one to talk to. Mm. Our former leaders are nowhere to be found. So we are on our own. But, so all we are asking of the new CEO of the Consolidated Bank Ghana mm. is that they should pay us our July and August salary. Mm. Because, you know, before the takeover happened, yeah. we were still at post working. And then after the takeover, um, a mail was sent that we should remain calm, that um, our uh, salaries will be paid. We have worked for it, it's our sweat. Mm. We don't care whether they pay a severance packages or not. We don't have a problem with our severance package or the laid off. All we want is they should pay us what we rightfully deserve. As at now, I'm talking to you, speaking right now. They've put lien on our account. The empty account, they put lien on it. You can't even withdraw from the account, although they've not even paid us. Mm. And secondly, too, we are still doing damage control because some of our customers have investments with us that their money is being locked. So they'll even call you, how? I want my money. So you have to calm that customers down because as at now, we are still doing damage control. We are still working for them. That's what I'm talking to you right now. Mm. Yeah. So what we are demanding is our money. We just need our money. Because a come here, a come at the We need our money. Mm. They sent a mail this morning that we should, if they should, we should come and clear ourselves. But we would, I don't think I will clear myself until they have paid us. They should pay. But you've been given two weeks to to clear yourself and reconcile the past no, books no, no, that no, you have. Other, why you? Why don't you want to do that? Other colleagues, they oh, they laid off the other time. They gave them some packet before they clear themselves, even before doing their KYCs. Mm. So they should do the same thing to us. It's just like, I don't know how to say. They don't respect us. Mm. But me, the financial service officers, we are graduates. Mm. We are graduates. No matter if we are contract staff, we are graduates. So they should pay us and let us go. Whether there's a layoff, yes, we agree that there's a layoff. We will look for another job. So they should pay us. The money, we are not coming to beg for them. We are not coming to steal it. We work for it. We sweat for it. We work through the scorching sun with our tie, with our suit. They don't give us clothing allowance. They don't give us anything. The only thing they give us what? They don't even give us food. We transportation, they don't give us anything. So they should pay us our money and let us go. We don't, have any, we don't want to have any confusion, any problem with us. They should pay us. Finish. Thank you. So from um, Jowulu, the head office of the um, defunct Beige Bank, Max Olagbaba, join us. Well, the newly uh, con licensed Consolidated Bank Ghana Limited hasn't quite responded directly to the issues of the workers, but it has issued a statement. It says CBG addresses media reports about human capital changes, and it goes on to say the management of Consolidated Bank Ghana Limited has taken notice of reports in the media about massive layoffs to be effected by the bank as part of efforts to implement the purchase and assumption transaction it undertook following the recent distress of five banks. CBG informs the general public that it has established an integration roadmap with the objective of right-sizing the branch network and rationalizing headcount, amongst others. Whilst this may involve some reduction in headcount, management is taking steps to ensure that this does not impose undue hardship on its staff. A core part of this integration and rationalization exercise 
is career training programs for all staff who may be exited as a result. CBG is also finalizing a plan for affected staff to transition to other economic models, which will enable them to provide essential outsourced services to the bank where appropriate. CBG is an indigenous bank with a strong balance sheet, well positioned to protect the best interests of our depositors and staff. We look, we look forward to an enduring partnership with all our stakeholders and to building an entity that will transcend this generation. And it's signed by Daniel Wilson Ado, who's the CEO of Consolidated Bank. So as I indicated earlier, this statement coming from CBG doesn't quite address the concerns of the staff who say they want their salaries for July and August. We will continue to make efforts to get CBG to respond to the concerns or react to the concerns that they have. Moving on.